Okay, so I'm sitting in my room right now. Sorry, I have my closet open. It looks like a complete <laughs> disaster in there. Um, but I am in my bedroom right now. Sorry if you hear like the extra humming of my fan. I'm in my room and my fan is over there. But I wanna to talk to you guys because I'm getting ready for homeschooling and I'm gonna be sharing a lot of homeschooling videos. Um, and I'm hopefully going to be able to put them in a lineup for you guys to follow like you know our how I've been doing it where you know some of the stuff uh, like my regular stuff is during the week air fryer videos will always be on Friday and then I have uh, my weekend stuff as like activities and different things um, but now we're homeschooling starting I don't know if I'm gonna share more of that through the week I know a lot of you guys come for like my air fryer videos and um, for the like grocery hauls and stuff like that. But school is starting, so I, my channel is gonna change just a little bit with fitting in homeschooling stuff and sharing that with you. But I'm in my room right now and I'm really sitting down now and going through the homeschool stuff because I ordered everything, but I need to put names on it and then figure out like um, their cubbies and stuff like that. And I brought some, let me show you quick if I can even pick it up. So. I have this big thing right here. There's eight of them in there, and that's all the kids' little cubby system that we have in our kitchen, and I will show that. Kids have, like, TV on and everything right now, but, um, so I'm going to share with you guys what I'm going to be doing, the cubby systems and stuff that I'm going to be doing, and then, like, organizing and stuff with you. Um, so I'm going to try to do this all in one video. Um, for you guys so that it's not like all scattered so it's kind of like get organized with me um, homeschool before it starts because it's gonna start pretty soon and um, I'm at the point where I can sit down and do this so I had to order one book for Hudson but otherwise I was ready this year before um, school started last year I ended up getting books last minute like a week before school started that was my first time ever like doing that and uh, but I was totally prepared this year and I switched curriculum skin so I've been homeschooling now for 16 years and we're using Rod and Staff for the majority of our years a little bit of Abeka and then I switched back to or I've been using Rod and Staff and then I switched to Abeka last year and I like Abeka I like using that program but some of it just wasn't fitting in with how I wanted things done. So I kind of branched out and doing master books. And then I have some Matthew C is like our math. I don't think I have any of the Matthew C books here with me right now because all of that is in the cubbies still for their, um, from what they had last year. And then there are other books that they fill in with are in there too like i've had to buy in the mid like in the middle of the year another book for them and that's all in their cubby so i won't be sharing that with you today but we will go over everybody's curriculum at a different time i will break all of that down for you guys but i want to share with you right now what i'm doing and whose is whose so let me show you what i got going on here okay so i'm gonna go over a little bit of like my school hall little goodies that i got when i went to a place in our area for school supplies. Um, I went with my son's uh, fiance and my oldest daughter and we went and picked out some stuff. My son's fiance is gonna be a first grade teacher um, at a school system or in a school system. So she, I gave her a gift card for her birthday and graduation um, for her to go pick out some stuff. So we all got to go together. My daughter homeschools her children. So we all got to go and have fun and pick out some stuff. So I'm gonna go over a lot of the stuff that I got for there. And then I have some Walmart stuff that you guys seen in my pickup order. Um, I got my stack of books right there and we will go over that. Um, but like I said, I am not fully organized. That's why I'm having you guys come along with me today and I will show you everything that I do to get prepared for homeschooling. This is just step number one. 
Okay, so I'm a bulletin board in my kitchen. You guys probably seen it many times. Um, I have a pink border going around and I thought it would be fun to switch it up this year and put some animals around. And I found this really cute <laughs> animal border at the place that we went. It's, this is just completely adorable and the kids are gonna love it. So they don't even really know about that yet. All right, so I found this um, fifth grade fraction and a small book i don't think i meant to get two of them but i got two of them um i'm gonna be tying this in this is fifth grade so i'm gonna be tying this in with some of the kids these books that i have here are just filler books to their regular math books so this is just like um stuff that we're gonna use in between for extra practice um this book right here is uppercase and lowercase letters and this is kindergarten and i was going to work on this with evelyn all right so i got some cursive and this is going to be the twins i think i have um i have two of them let's see grades second and third so i think this is going to be National Auckland, even though they're going to be in first grade. Uh, we're going to start cursive and get them started in first grade. So that's National Auckland. I am going to... Hold on. I'm going to grab my pen here. I'm going to write this down um, as we start. So here is Evelyn's. So I'm gonna get her name on there and get that in there. And then do Nash. And put that in my little box here. And then I got Lachlan. And that's his book. Uh, I have, I found an Osborne book there, which is super cool. I didn't even know that they had that. So if you guys know that I don't always, I talk about it, but I don't always talk about it, but I sell Usborne books or I'm an affiliate to them. And um, I have a link and everything down below if you guys are interested. Um, but this one, I think I got for, I think I got this for Declan, I think this year. And this is gonna be helping him um, practice with words and writing and stuff like that. So Declan is in third grade. I think he's in third. Yeah, he's in third. So, uh, Declan. So I got Declan's on there. Um, I have some Alphabet Fun Pre-K uh, Dry Erase. So this will be Evelyn's and she'll be able to practice. So we'll put Evelyn's name on there right away. I got that. Um, scissor skills. These are super cool. You can get these on Amazon and I will lay, leave a link for you guys to get it down below. I like that they come with the plastic scissors because they can't get cut, but it actually cuts paper. So it still has the plastic film on it, but I'll still just put her name so I know for reference when I do her cubby. Um, so at Walmart, I got Evelyn. I was stating that Evelyn's just learning how to use the glue. Um, so she has that. And then I got um, some rulers, but I thought I had, let's see. Oh yeah, I have um, some more glue sticks. And then let's see. I have three rulers, so we'll be using them this year. Um, I found these on sale. Uh, I don't think that's part of that. Two dollars, and they're just popsicle sticks. Um, I thought for art or something. How much did I pay? A dollar ninety-nine. So um, for crafts, I got that. Um, I got Evelyn and the twins some um, color cube blocks, and they'll be using this for adding and subtraction. Um, I just got a little sticky note, unless I, um, in case I need to write some notes in their books and different things. Uh, I got Evelyn some wipe off crayons so instead of dry erase markers we got some of these wipe off ones for her book i got some um 
toss chore things so clean bathroom water plants stuff like that so um we have a regular chore thing that we do on a regular basis but if um they need you know like downtime or whatever they need something to do maybe we can toss that around and have fun with that um i found these i thought these were really cute for evelyn beginner brushes even though she does painting and stuff they were 3.99 um, they're good size paint brushes. I thought that would be really cute for her. And then um, for uh, for the kids, um, we'll start doing dry erase with writing down the states and stuff. So I got that. Um, I also got three. Um, they're like plastic write on things, and uh, this will be for maybe Declan, Nash and Lachlan, or for Evelyn also. I'm not quite sure when, who I'm gonna use them for. And then uh, here are the regular ABCs, so Nash and Lachlan and Evelyn. And then I got a cursive one, so this will show them the upper and lower uh, how to transition into cursive. And then I also got um, the ABC um, another one that they can use for uppercase and lowercase. So that's my little haul through them. Um, it's American history, math, and English. So it says that it's everything that you need to uh, ace English language arts in one big pet notebook. So um, I don't know if this is going to be too much for us to handle when it comes to this, but this is something that we can do on um, certain days or just filling it in and uh, trying to get them to understand or they can have a reference back to looking at this. So that is going to be for the um, Gage, Eli, and Hudson. All right, I went ahead and put uh, Nash's name on here. This is his phonics book and this is through Masterbooks. And then this is just an example. Um, and they've been doing this since kindergarten or even preschool, uh, writing letters and stuff. So this isn't gonna be very hard for them to for them to do. It says like, go to activity sheet 109. So when I went over there, this is what it looks like. And then they have to color in uh, Joseph in his oh, coat really? of many yeah. colors. So that oh, is gonna be for National Auckland. My story and the world around me. Now, I only have one of these, and that is because this is going to be for Nash and Lachlan. And I will be reading this stuff to them, and then they'll be responding it, helping out, doing working together, and doing that. It just happens to be because their twins are in the same grade, and uh, it didn't pay for me to buy two of these when we can work together on this one. Um, but all their other activity books are their own books. Okay, I guess Evelyn's gonna help me here today. All right, so level three math, um, this would be Declan's. So I'm gonna put uh, Declan's name on here. And usually we go through Matthew C when it comes to math, but we're gonna try the master books out for Declan and math. Okay, what do we got here? All right, so for the twins, they have not too small at all, a mouse tail, um, and then it's just a storybook, and eventually they'll learn how to read that one. Um, and like I said, I will go through all of this again with you guys. Okay, so this is Lachlan's, and he's gonna work on this one. We have another one. Yep. Okay, so with this math book, this is level one, and this is going to be, um, this is going to be Nash's, and like I said, we usually, we usually go through uh, Matthew C, but I saw that they had math, and we're just going to give it a try and see, you know, if we like it. If we don't like it, we'll go back to, go back. Okay, so this one is going to be Lachlan's. That one's gonna be yours? Yes. I don't think so. Yes, it is. Okay, language lessons uh, for living education. Okay, let's see. Um, I think this is, let's see, do we have another one of these? Yeah, we have another one. So this is gonna be Nash's. Oh, that's gonna be mine. Oh, it's Nash's. 
dishes. Yep. Okay, and then hold on one. This is this is gonna be Lachlan's. I love this one. I'll do this so they'll be in uh, first grade. That's yours. Okay. Okay. Hold on, I'm not ready yet. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we have the 101 favorite Bible stories. Um, and this is just things that I can read when we do like Bible study. I try to get them all in one area so we can all do it together. Um, all right. So, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Lesson language lessons and living in education uh grades three this is master books and some of these books were actually used um some were brand new i went on a place that um sells used ones so this is declan's okay go you can go color but not on mama's books you gotta go find a different book or a piece of paper in the kitchen sure go find a piece of paper you're gonna show a video, uh, video of it? Can I have you? No, I gotta use it for right now. On Adventures in Creation Master Books, um, this is also going to be Nash and Lachlan's, and this one I will read over everything with them. This is also their book through the same um, through, through the same thing. I I might have not have got. Uh, some easy peasy, but I'm just gonna go through here and just see. I thought I did. Um, Grand Charlie and Trike in the Grand Canyon Adventures. So in this book, you they go through, and then they have like it pops open and different things. So that is National Auckland, and we will be reading that together. Um, we have ninth grade, eleventh grade yet, fifth grade, and seventh grade uh, writing and grammar and English. Okay. So, how I go about with this kind of stuff is if they're not up to where they need to be, then we um, backtrack a little bit. So, I'm just trying to picture here who is in what for me to um, do that with. So, this is Declan's is the language lessons, um, Nash and Lachlan for their English and language uh, that is theirs also and then next would be miles and he will be in fifth grade so miles has this book right here he'll be in fifth and this is the writing and grammar looking over this right now because I don't see any like answer books or anything with these so I'm gonna have to kind of just figure out um what i don't have yet so that will be miles's and then um this is hudson's he'll be in seventh grade this is hudson's okay that's hudson's um writing and grammar ninth grade this is going to be eli He'll be a freshman. And then this is Gages. No, that's mine. Okay. That's mine. And then Nash and Lachlan and probably Bible study will be this book right here. So we'll tie all that. Uh, the Door of Salvation. We'll tie all that together. And then I have two books here of spelling. I have... Um, I forget what grades. I found this through an Amazon or a Instagram ad, and I thought this was gonna be good for them. Little kids books in the back, they have all the answers and stuff um, to theirs are all in the way back of the book. So I don't need answer books to theirs, but I just realized that the four other English books, I don't have answer keys for. So I'm glad that I'm looking through it right now because I thought when I ordered it, I ordered all the answer books to them. So now I have to go back and just see if I can find answer books just to them, which I can go on eBay or I use um, homeschool thing on Facebook and stuff like that 
and uh, try to find them that way. But um, for right now, this is just what I got to do and uh, work that out and then still continue to organize and get all these books into where they need to go. saw me doing they just go in here and we didn't have that with our other cubbies this is what our other cubbies look like so that they didn't have that and they're all starting to like fall apart we had them for a while um but this is what this one looks like and then, and then this is just folded up and they'll be able to put all their school books in there as long as it fits in the cubby area that i got um this is the ones that they had before so they are a little bit bigger. Hopefully that's gonna work. Um, I gotta try it out yet. So I'm gonna continue putting all their names in there and then uh, getting all their school books in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna end it like that for right now. That is just, uh, well, I know that wasn't real quick, but just kind of an overview. I just wanted to quick get it organized. I'm glad I did this. I, you know, just started noticing that I didn't order some stuff. So I need to just go on and order some of the um, cursive and all that for them and then um, go from there. But some of the like spelling and all that, that's all, these three can all work on the same thing um, because some of the stuff they usually wouldn't be working on anymore, but I still tie it in and that's why I do one book for all and, um, and that's okay. So. All right, so hopefully you guys like today's video. Hopefully you guys are gonna like our homeschool series and homeschool stuff that is gonna go on for the next year. Um, but that's just how it is for right now. So this is just a brief overview of what we're gonna get started with.